Hello everyone and welcome back to another Plan With Me Tuesday. This week's kit is from the Plump Planner. I can't remember what it's called but I will leave her link down in the description box. I've used the Plump Planner lots of times. If you've never gone over to her shop or never used a kit from her, I highly suggest that you do because she's amazing, her kits are amazing and they're just really good value for money. This is actually a mini kit but it kind of feels like almost a full kit when I've used it in my Happy Planner. I never have an issue when I'm using her mini kits. I always have enough stickers. I'm also pulling in this Mambi sticker book here just for the gold foiled flowers that I'm going to be putting up along the top as I'm not using any date covers this week. I'm also pulling in some rolls of washi that I did quickly show you a little while ago the, which I'll be using in the spread like a little bit later on. It's not until the weekend that I actually use it but yeah I'm going to be doing that. We're kind of doing a few different things this week. So going in day by day I'm starting off with a label and just putting a little bow deco stick on top to mark down for work. I have got my camera set on the wrong setting so it's going to keep going in and out of focus which is so annoying. I'm really sorry but I didn't actually realise until pretty much the end of the video that oh my camera's on the wrong setting so my apologies. I'm also driving into work so I've just put down a little car icon to mark that and then on the half box I've put down one of my angry puppets as the kids have gone back to school this week and they are not impressed. I just filled up the day with a full box and then I suddenly realised there's actually a few glitter headers in the kit so I decided to use those along the top so I just went back up and put it on Monday and then I used a kind of fancy label I suppose you would call these and then use that as kind of washi behind the large piece of deco. I also had to do a bit of a food dash after work so I just used one of my food puppets and then underneath there I'm using some books from Strawberry Lime Designs as my daughter had to study and then the gold envelope is from The Giving Girl as I wanted to answer some Etsy messages. I didn't actually get around to doing it so I'm going to be doing it today. So for Tuesday I started off with a glitter header at the top and then I just marked down that I'm going to be dropping my daughter and son off at college today with a little car icon and then I wanted to put a pop it face down but my poppets in my collection that I use are the kind of off cuts or the ones that aren't cut 100% that I can send off to people so I just keep them and use them myself rather than throwing them away but that one was a little bit too much of an off cut so I just switched it out for a better one. Um, my daughter has got an English exam so from the Mambi sticker book they have these little shiny foiled horseshoes so I just marked that down for good luck and then I wanted to edit and do the voiceover for this plan with me so I, on a half Box, I put one of the pop it laptops and then underneath there I'm putting another one of the labels across and putting a social YouTube pop it down as I want to upload this plan with me. Like I said I didn't get a chance to answer all the messages and finish up everything yesterday so I've used another gold foiled envelope from the giving girl and wrote down Etsy messages and then I put my full box down and right at the bottom my daughter will need to study again because she has an exam coming up later in the week so I just used one of the pop it highlighters. For Wednesday again I put another glitter header down and then I used one of these labels as a background behind this half box that I wanted to flip up onto its side. I normally put washi behind it but obviously there isn't any washi with this kit apart from the pink washi that I'm using at the top so I just used the that kind of label I don't know what you would call them but labels I guess that kind of looked like washi and that was just to mark down that I'm going to be doing orders all day so I just put a full box down to block up a lot of time I then put another label down as I want to make sure I start printing off my new freebies so as we're in a new month I decided that I would switch up my freebies so I'm going to be printing all of the new ones to get out of all of the orders then put another label down and a checklist as I wanted to create a to-do section and I used one of my tiny poppets just to kind of fill up that space so it wasn't left blank and then I'm just writing down things that I want to get done later in the day. I'm kind of half thinking about maybe in the next couple of weeks doing a plan with me where I'm not using any poppets and I'm not using any stickers from my shop because obviously I use a lot of my own stickers and I just want to maybe see if I can get through a plan with me without poppets. Can it be done? I don't think so but we'll, maybe I can give it a try and that way I can showcase some other kind of character stickers or some other little stickers as well in a plan with me. So I'm thinking I might do that, that's kind of scary and um, 
yeah I don't know if I will do it but maybe I should give that a go but moving on to Thursday I put down another glitter header I put down another car icon as again I'm going to have to drop my son and my daughter off at college in the city as my daughter has got another exam I think she's got her maths exam on Thursday so I'm just writing that down on another label and I use another one of those horseshoes as a good luck then I just wanted to move that up a little bit because I wanted to put a podcast sticker under there to remind myself just to kind of get one on my phone ready that I can listen to in the car on the way home once I've dropped them off. And then here I'm just putting down a half box as I want to stop and treat myself to a coffee. So after I've dropped them off, I'm going to go to Starbucks, grab a nice coffee, listen to my podcast and it's all going to be wonderful and I'm going to ignore the bad city traffic on the way home. <laughs> I then put down my full box as I'm going to be designing when I get home and then I finished it off with one of my new washi strips which was the messy desk. I was about to grab another icon from the giving girl and on this sheet I don't know what this symbol is. I'm guessing it's maybe something medical. It kind of looks like a bicycle pump slash microphone. I don't know what that is so if you guys know what that symbol is on this sheet then definitely let me know down in the comments because I keep looking at it and I have no idea what it is. And then moving on to Friday, I put down a glitter header at the top. I then put down a label and on top of there, I put another bow deco sticker as I'm going to be marking that I'm going to work. So I just kept it the same as I did on the Monday. And then underneath there, I put a poppet that doesn't look too impressed as my daughter has got another exam. She's got her English exam or her second English exam. And then I also used another one of the foiled horseshoe stickers because I'd used one on every other exam. And if I didn't use one on this one, you know, I would have felt weird. So moving on, I used a full box up to use the rest of the day up as I'm going to be at work. And then for my new release is going to be these poppet tabs. If you guys saw my studio vlogs, then I was designing these in one of those. So you kind of have seen them already if you have. If not, they're just these little tabs that you can fold in half and stick onto little tabs on the side of your planner or on the side of a a sticker binder or kind of anywhere that you have little tabs or you want to create your own tabs then that's what these are for obviously I was trying to figure out how to stick them in because it's a little bit weird to stick a flat tab down so I just chopped off half of it and just put them down at the bottom and then right at the bottom I use a quarter box with the poppet couples as it's my mum and dad's wedding anniversary so put that down there And then moving on to the weekend, this is where I'm going to be using the washi. And I've never done this before. I don't know if any of you guys have, but I've been seeing a lot of people use these to create a section to put the weekend banner on top of. And it's just like lots of little washi ribbons or banners hanging down and they're all different kind of shapes and lengths. So I decided to give that a go. I don't know if many people in the Erin Condren planners do this. It's something that I've seen a lot in happy planners on Instagram and on Pinterest but I thought I would give it a go so I just chose some washies that kind of went with the kit or are similar colours and you just kind of rip off a piece of washi and you fold it so the sticky is on the outside so inside is not sticky and then you cut it at an angle which will give you this banner shape at the bottom and I just done that to lots of different washies and I put them in different um, heights so it wasn't all even and I split them up with colours and sizes and it's kind of just like a a mix match but on purpose so once I'd finished putting all of those down I just cut off the top so it was nice and straight with just a ruler and a little craft knife which I'll be doing in just a minute I was trying to balance out some of the darker colors in with the lighter colors so um yeah once I was happy with it then like I said I just took a ruler and my little craft knife and I'm just going to chop off the top which will make them even and then to neaten up once I've chopped them off to neaten it up at the top I'm just going to be using two more of the glitter headers just to match the rest of the kit if I wasn't using glitter headers I probably would have just used a thin strip of washi just at the top which will just neaten it up because it looks a little bit messy when they're all kind of just sitting there once I had done that, I then got my weekend banner from the kit and then placed that on top. I don't know if I 
love it. I don't know if I hate it. I don't know if I've done it right, but I thought I would give it a go this week in my planner and just, you know, see see how it looked. So for Saturday, it's uh, my cousin Soren's birthday and he is going to be having a game camp kind of party for his birthday for the boys. So I've just put that down on a half box. I also need to grab some party supplies before I drop the boys off there so I just put down another food shop pop it as I'll be picking up some stuff and then I just filled up the day with a full box and this is probably one of my favorite boxes I'm gonna say with the washies on it's so cute and then underneath that I've put down another highlighter as my daughter will need to study and the boys will have homework and then just to fill up the space at the bottom I used another one of the washi strips from my shop which I believe was from the plant washi um, and then moving on to Sunday, I took a rose coloured days foiled icon to mark down to film the plan with me. I then took another label and on top of that I put the large deco piece which has got all of the planners lined up and then I'm going to be writing a to-do list that I'm going to be doing for Sunday and then for Sunday afternoon we're not really going to be doing anything we're just going to be having some family time so I just took a family time pop it label or half box and then on top of there the foiled family time sticker is from the ginger cat co and then to fill it up I just used my full box and I just trimmed off the bottom so it matched the box. And then flipping it over to the sidebar, I'm going to be using my full box right at the top to cover the calendar. And then underneath there, there wasn't any um, habit trackers, but really I only wanted to track Instagram this week. So I just used one of the checklist boxes and wrote Instagram on top of there. And I also put a tiny pop it. I put the notes header down and this really long kind of list I think it's supposed to be like a list sticker, I put that down, that's for my next week section. And then I filled up the bottom with my last full box and some of the larger deco that came with the kit. I really, really love this kit, I love all of the colours, I love the artwork and I just, I just like how it turned out in my planner. I hope you guys do too, but I don't have that many stickers left over, but if you did like this then make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Also if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, definitely make sure you subscribe and you can hit the bell notification so you won't miss on any of my future uploads. I hope you guys are all having an amazing week so far and I will speak to you all in the next one. Bye guys!